Earlier this week, researchers at the world's largest Earth Science Conference presented some sobering climate news. They estimate the ice shelf on Antarctica's massive Thwaites Glacier could collapse within the next five years, causing a dramatic sea level rise. The rapid transformation would have major impacts across the globe. For more, we want to bring in CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli for the first time in person since like two years ago, it's, Jeff. It it's, is, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, yes. it's nice to be here, though. I got to tell you. Well, so explain to us what's going on with this glacier, because you were saying during the break when we were talking about it that this is also more popularly known in the way that many of our viewers might know it is as the Doomsday Glacier for and, a particular reason. And there's a good reason for it. Uh, so, you know, this is interesting. What's happening here is that water temperatures down in the Southern Ocean, especially up against uh, the ice shelves and the glacier, have increased by around three to four degrees above normal uh, for, for, you know, and because of that, it's eating away at the underside of these glaciers. So we have an animation that I want to show you. We'll kind of put it into perspective for you. First of all, we'll show you where Antarctica is, clearly on the bottom of our planet. And there are two key glaciers that we're worried about. We're going to be talking about Thwaites today, but its neighbor is Pine Island, and we're concerned about that as well. You mentioned Thwaites is called the Doomsday Glacier. So let's kind of fly into the glacier now and show you why this is becoming unstable. So because water temperatures are a few degrees above normal, it's eating away at the underside of this glacier, and it's destabilizing the glacier. The glacier itself is starting to develop a lot of cracks and fractures. In fact, it's in an advanced stage right now. It's kind of like a windshield. If you get a crack in a windshield, it's slow at first, but it starts to kind of spider out, and then everything shatters. Well, that's what's happening right here. And this is the ice shelf. So this is the ice that's floating on the water. So therefore, it can melt, and it would not raise sea level rise. However, hmm. it's like a wine cork. It, it kind of acts as a buttress or a wall, keeping the glacier, the, the, the ice that's on land itself, behind it stable. You pull out that wine cork and all that ice on land begins to fall out. So they're saying that we could see the ice shelf break up in three to five years, and then the ice sheet behind it begins to slide uh, into the ocean at a much faster pace. And then we're potentially looking at sea level rise. Yeah. And, we, and how much might that be? Well, if the weights, if the whole thing collapses and falls into the Southern Ocean, that would be around two feet of sea level rise. So that'd be the glacier itself. Now, if it destabilizes its neighbor, Pine Island, which is also very unstable, then we add a few more to that. So several feet of sea level rise is possible. Uh, and then if you were to destabilize all of the West Antarctic area, it would be over 10 feet of, of sea level rise. Catastrophic. Yeah. Well, Jeff, you know what? It seems like every month we are hearing about climate change and more problems with climate change and weather. Is this any different? Is this all still mm -hmm. part of that same narrative? Give us hope if it's there and give us caution if it's not. Well, the hope is that we just have to, we have to solve the problem. That's, that's the hope. We can do it. Uh, but in particular, this report, I've never heard anything like this before. Now, I've covered a lot of these. I've read a lot of these papers. I've covered a lot of these reports. I always ask the scientists, you know, okay, how long is it going to take for the glacier to fall into the ocean? How long is it going to take for sea level rise to happen? And they never, you can never pin them down on, on a time frame. They're always like, oh, it's many decades in the future, probably centuries. This time they're saying the ice shelf could collapse in three to five years. So there's a, not only a timetable, but a short-term timetable. Um, and it doesn't mean that, that all of the, you know, we're going to see sea level, sea level rise right away. It's going to take quite a while for it to happen. Still decades, but it's going to happen much faster than it could have happened. And we're beginning to hit tipping points now. So yeah. that's the real danger here. Is that the biggest takeaway that you took from this report? Yes. I mean, we're inches away from tipping points. It's, it's not going to happen linearly anymore. It's not going to happen gradually anymore. Once we hit these tipping points, things can happen really quickly. And once you start to fracture and, and make a certain part of the glacier unstable, every, it's kind of like a domino effect. Everything starts to become unstable. And I'll just add one more thing to it. Look at what happened this week. We had one of the worst tornado outbreaks in U.S. history on Friday night and Saturday. In fast December. Forward, in December. Fast forward a few days later, the worst and most widespread wind event I've ever seen all the meteorologists keep saying, well, we've never seen this before. I don't think we'll ever see this again. And then a couple of weeks later or a few weeks later, bang, another unprecedented event happens. And so it's, they're starting to come fast and furious. We are destabilizing the climate. It will never, ever be the same again. But we can stop the worst of it. We can do it, but we have to really, you know, 
try hard. Mm -hmm. not, we're not doing that right now. Well, Jeff, I also want to say thank you as you and your family, newly expanded yes, family, we have a little daughter, are moving, moving back home to your home state of Florida. I yep. want to yeah. wish you well and all the very best. It's thank been a you. pleasure. It's been so much. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah.